god. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, what's up? That guy Danny here, and today we're gonna be talking about filmmaking. If you've ever wanted to get into video, starting to shoot your own stuff, being creative, there's no better time to do it than now. Today, I'm gonna show you an app that you can use to kind of elevate your video game, right? Your social media game, any game. We're gonna go and do that right now. So the first thing you wanna do is go into the app store and download this app called Double Take. It's an app by Filmic Pro and it has a, it's a red icon with uh, what it looks, what appears to be two cameras interposed on it. Why is it called Double Take? Well, this app allows you to record simultaneously from two cameras at the same time. Basically, if your phone has multiple cameras, or even if it only has one camera, which is the selfie and then the rear, you'll still be able to take advantage of this app. Okay, so we're on the home screen of my iPad. Just so you know, when we open the app, you'll notice it's pretty small. That's because this is actually an iPhone app, right? But if you have an iPad, you can basically borrow the app and use it as well. So we're just gonna blow it up to the iPhone, I mean the iPad screen, by tapping on the bottom right icon, which has like two arrows going opposite one another. When we tap that, we have something that looks pretty decent, in my opinion. Now, the first thing that you will encounter on this app, you will see that the screen is showing what you're seeing, what, what the camera is seeing. And then you have four icons, one on each side, with a histogram in the middle. The histogram gives you information about uh, what's going on in your image. Let's dive into the app. So, first, things, first thing you would want to do in the app is go tap that bottom left icon. It's this icon that you'll be able to choose what lenses you're gonna be using. So you have the wide, you have the selfie, and if I had multiple lenses, I would be able to choose ultra-wide or maybe the telephoto lens. But in my case, I only have two lenses, so we're gonna work with that. Now, you need, first, first thing is first, you need to choose two, the two lenses that you would like to use. Now, you'll notice that uh, A-roll is being highlighted now, and you have B-roll. A-roll is basically the main footage of your video, and then B-roll is like the video clips that, you know, a person may cut away to, like if they're talking about a specific product or a specific um, topic, then while he's talking, while he's doing the talking head thing, a video of uh, what he's talking about will be shown and then it'll come back. So that video that is just momentarily shown and then, you know, disappeared is the B-roll. So we're going to confirm that A-roll is going to be the wide camera and B-roll is going to be a selfie camera. So I'll confirm that and now we're in. So by default, this is what it looks like. You can basically move around this little box wherever you like. You can also hide it if you tap on the box and just slide it to the edge. Right? And you bring it back by tapping the arrows. Now, to start a recording, you just tap the bottom right little circle, that's the shutter button. Tapping it will start the recording, blah blah blah, and then tapping it again would stop the recording. Now, the interesting thing about this app is it not only you know does this, but there's three modes in it, depending on how you like to shoot and what you plan to do with it later and if you'll need to edit it after the fact. So how do you know what mode you're in? You go to the top right icon and you'll see you can tap it to switch between modes. This mode is the discrete mode. If I tap it again, you'll see that it changes to PIP, which is picture in picture. And if I tap it again, it'll go into split screen mode. So let's talk about discrete mode. The discrete mode is basically recording two um, streams of video. So it'll record the back facing camera 
and the front facing camera separately right it won't join the picture the video together so what you see right now at the end of the export it's going to be two separate videos so let me press the shutter button and record me talking about something interesting hopefully you know one two three four five six I am using the discrete mode on the Filmic Pro app now once you've recorded something you can check it by tapping the top left icon which kind of looks like an SD card you just tap it and you can see the video that you just took they're labeled by the the month date and year as well as the time it appears to be and also if it's A or B so this is what I just shot just now notice that they are separate I record me talking about something interesting hopefully you know there are two separate streams, uh, streams of video which I can use which I can put into a editing program and edit later one two three four five six I'm using the discrete mode on the Filmic Pro app. Yeah. Uh, you can change the volume, you can share it to a TV, you can, you know, stretch it. Anyway, let's get out of here now. Let's show you the next mode. The next mode is PIP mode. And at first glance, it doesn't look like anything has changed. But that's where you'd be wrong because picture in picture, is basically what it sounds like picture in picture there's a picture within a picture right in this case if i were to press record and record 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 at the end of the recording and i go check and i tap the little sd card icon you'll see that i have a new video here if i tap to view it you'll notice and record the video, the two videos are joined together. At the end of the recording. So I have no way to separate the two. They're built in. So I can see this useful for people who just want to record like an event and their like, or like their reaction or even like hands-on videos. If you were to mount this on a tripod or something and be a one-man crew basically and not need to worry about, you know, who's gonna hold this for you, who's gonna hold that for you. So it's pretty useful. Let's get out of here now. The last mode, which we saw before, is the split screen mode. This split screen mode is similar to PIP, but it has a different look. It's similar because at the end of the video, you are going to see a, you know, basically one video. It's gonna be joined together with, uh, imp with it impossible to like separate. So if I record it, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a beautiful tripod looking over here. And then I go to the SD card icon again. So if you'll I see it, that. One, two, three, four, five, six. You'll see that the video is together. Tripod right? Really good for social media, I guess. You can even rotate it horizontally. I mean, sorry, vertically. <laughs> and do something like that it's completely customizable and yeah so those are the three modes or three different options that you have when recording with dual cameras so now let's take a look at these this sd card so tapping the sd card gives you the gallery view per se now the videos you record don't go straight into the camera roll. They stay within the app. You can watch any of them by just tapping so it. If I record it, one just two. like that. And if you want to export it to your camera roll, you just all you have to do is tap the first icon on this on this tray at the bottom. By tapping that, you go into selection mode. Then you go and tap which uh, videos you want. I'm gonna tap the first one just to say example. If you want to send it to the camera roll, you can just tap the icon beside it, the second icon in the tray, and it'll ask you if you want to save it to the camera roll. I'll save it, and it's going to save it, and bam, it's going to save it into the camera roll. But what if you don't want to send it to the camera roll? What if you want to send it to another app like LumaFusion or iMovie to edit it instantly? 
you can tap the third icon on the tray which is like a share sheet and it'll open up a share sheet on the iPad it looks kind of ridiculous because it's a it looks like so blown up but yeah you can send it to different apps you can even email it you can open it in other video applications Twitter Instagram all that jazz and then of course the last one is the trash icon which you can use if you want to delete and yeah so basically that's the app in general um, oh something I do want to point out is that the in any in the discrete mode and also in the picture-in-picture -picture mode the small little box which you selected as your b-roll is expandable so you tap that little four arrow square thing you can make it big just take into um, consideration that you're still recording your back facing camera at the same time while doing this so oh and also you can change frame rates by going into the bottom left icon that lens icon and change your set frame rate settings at the bottom right 24 25 or 30 frames per second is available you can also you know change your mode directly from here and you can also go into the Filmic Pro app by tapping the bottom left which is the which is their pro camera app that allows you to change a lot of settings so all video recorded with this app is 1080p only there's no way to there's no way to change it for now so you're stuck with 1080 which I feel is acceptable for me because Cuba's internet isn't really fast enough to be uploading like 4k so basically that's the app hope you enjoyed I really recommend this app if only I had an iPhone I feel like I'd be using it like non-stop it's because I'm using it on my iPad it's kind of like awkward to just record stuff with the iPad not that I think iPad photography and videography is bad it's just it's big and unwieldy sometimes thanks for watching guys Hope you download the app and make some stuff with it. It's really good. It's really good. So, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.